Welcome to another edition of Cooking Tajin with more acro today. We have Tajin, Lahem, Dirjebena. So peas and beef today. Traditionally it's made with chokh, artichoke, but today I'm going to substitute that for champignon, mushroom. You saw the fresh peas from the souk. These are frozen. These mushrooms were on sale, also can be found at the souk, and are beef for sale. Last time I cooked a beef tagine, the saffron was a little too strong. The comments said, try just turmeric. If I'm going to add a little ginger in there today too, because I think that's going to go nice. Parsley, of course, as well. I've recently made two beef tagines on this channel. One was way too dry and one was way too soupy. So I'm going to hope to find somewhere in between there, the Goldilocks tagine. I'm hoping these mushrooms provide a lot of moisture and natural water to the dish. The point of contention in making a beef tagine is, do you put the meat in first or the onion first? There is a debate on either side. Today, I like to put the onion first because I think that kind of spices up the dish. But on the other hand, I like putting the meat in first because I think it could caramelize a bit and sear a bit on the outside. Some are always saying, hey, you need olive oil in the tagine first. Well, of course, I never forget that. Tajine is warm enough. Time for the onion. Yeah, maybe it could have been a little hotter. I'm gonna go ahead and spice these onions now. A little salt, some pepper, a little bit of ginger, a little bit of turmeric. Never have the fresh herbs here in Slovenia, but a little parsley in there. And the comments said, never knife the tajine. You'll scratch it. So I'm gonna give it a little stir here with the wooden spoon. And the onions are looking pretty good already here. Now some garlic in there. And now for the beef. Now they said this beef is for soup at the store, but I think it's gonna go great in a tagine. Just cut up into chunks. I learned that you don't put the whole bone in the tagine unless it's like a meat only tagine. So today we actually have our meat chunks. Give it a stir to cover up the meat and the onions and the garlic. We're going to cover that for now, come back, stir it, flip it, and then we'll add the rest of the ingredients. <laughs> okay, you can hear Andreas singing in the background. Let's flip some of this beef. Oh yeah, already looking very good. Look at all those juices already. It's so juicy. It's amazing. So beef is browned. Now, here's the weird part. I've personally never seen this, but we're gonna do it. I'm sure it exists anyways. Put some mushrooms in our tagine. You're not gonna cut them in half? No, whole mushrooms. You think I should cut them in half? It's too late. <laughs> and they're just gonna squeeze in here among the beef. I think at least half. I should cut them at least in half. But if they were doing artichokes, they would be like whole artichokes. It's going to be a tight tagine already, and the peas aren't even in here. Oof. But the mushrooms will shrink. Yeah, and they're going to release the liquid. Yeah, it's going to be juicy tagine. Like seafood tagine, when you make calamari, it overflows from all the liquid. And here, I think it's going to be similar with these mushrooms. Yeah, maybe I actually toss these mushrooms in the sauce. I think it'd be better. Those are pretty big, no? They're, they're, yeah, they're kind of big. Uh, we'll see how they turn out. I read online you can't overcook mushrooms, so. I guess not. That's good news. Meanwhile, in the kitchen, Rumi's getting her exercise, her amusement. You having fun, Rumi? Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Da da da. Oh. <laughs> Let's check in on these mushies. Oh yeah, it's getting juicy in that tagine. But these mushrooms need to be cooked a lot more. And going on in this corner, if you know what it is, it's hoops deal dar, argarom, tigmi. We're making some fresh bread over here. Mushroom check. Oh yeah, looking juicy. But I think this tagine's a little hot. I'm gonna turn down that heat a little bit. It's bubbling a bit too much for my liking. Let's get it low and long. All right, the sauce level is getting to an appropriate level. We're gonna add in the peas. 
give this thing some fresh color. That's going to be nice. Into the oven with the bread. We'll see you soon. Just took it out of the oven. Crunchy bread. Bubbling and tagine. Tagine time. Rumi, are you ready for tagine? Wow, is this tough or not bread? Not quite tough or not, but it's supposed to be Moroccan bread. Okay. Little plates. Rumi, are you ready for tagine? Open it up. Whoa. What do you think of that tagine? It's my kind of tagine. Mushroom and pea. Mm -hmm. So I think I've only made a pea tagine once. I don't know how to get all the flavors on top. I guess when you dip the bread in, they'll kind of fall into the soup. Mm -hmm. But it's looking pretty good. What do you think, Romy? You like that tagine? She want to see it. You want to see the tagine? She can smell it. Baby and a beef tagine. Looking pretty good, crunchy. Almost more excited about this bread. You asked if we have bread. I said, no. Can you go get some? I'm making bread. I'm singing bread. That yeah, looks good. Okay, okay, okay. Enough playing with the food. Let's eat. The bread's hot? Yeah. What do you think? Mm. I want to try the mushroom. Yeah, eat the mushroom. Have you ever seen a mushroom in a tagine before? No. You think I should have cut them still? Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to put a whole mushroom in my mouth. What do you think? Good mushroom? Mm -hmm. Stewed in beef juice? Mm -hmm. It's just so hot. We have to wait. No, no. Give me film. I'll eat it. Oh, yeah. That's hot. It looks juicy. It's quite hot. <laughs> uh, yeah, you eat it. I'm gonna film. Yeah, mash the piece. These are good. Mm -hmm. Healthy, not too overcooked. No. Now for the beef. Bismillah. Mm -hmm. Looks chewy. A little chewy, but great flavor. I don't know the key to tender. Add water, cook it longer. Mm -hmm. I would say, yeah, that would be my first guess, um, thought. Still very good. This could have just been a chewy piece. We'll, we'll have to investigate. Okay. Now Andrea tries the beef. Have a small piece. Moment of truth. Yeah, it's a bit chewy. But the flavor is good. Yeah. Very flavorful. Flavorful beef, Rumi. What do you think of that? She wants out. Eating tagine always feels very healthy, and Rumi was such a good baby during the meal. I find it funny Andrea eats her tagine with butter, though. Have to admit that. And that's it. Another day, another tagine. Today, the beef was a little tough. Could be the cheap cut of meat I bought. Is like 380 euro a kilo, which is super cheap for beef. The bread was definitely a highlight, some homemade bread. 380. And mushrooms in there were a nice surprise. They're juicy, tasty. Peas are good too. Flavor was nice. But yeah, beef a little tough, a little chewy. Cooked it for two hours. Thought it'd be enough. I guess that soup beef needs a little bit longer. Let me know what you thought of the tagine. Is mushroom a good substitute for artichoke? Of course, we needed a little preserved lemon in there, but that's an ingredient hard to come by here in Slovenia, as well as some fresh herbs. Wintertime. We make with what we got. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.